<laughs> a family has had enough. They say a woman is defecating on their sidewalk. Kathy says the runner knows what she's doing and comes with napkins in her pockets. Police in New Jersey believe they've caught a serial pooper. The school superintendent is accused of defecating on a high school football field on a near daily basis. Whether it's under cover of darkness in a driveway or, as in this clip going viral today, the middle of a crowded cafe, the US is suffering through a spate of public defecation. As I came around to get in the passenger side, I reached for my door handle and I actually touched it. Police say this is a man who has been using vehicles as his personal potty. And the contagion is seemingly spread spreading to Australia. Last year, a laneway in Ashfield in Sydney was targeted by multiple mystery poopers. And in Queensland last Friday, a Greenslope's apartment block resident reportedly camped out to catch their mystery pooper in the act after a year's worth of deposits. Today, the project contacted both Queensland and New South Wales police about the topic. They were tight-lipped. So what's behind all this? It could be something complicated like a mental illness or it could be a simple deliberate act of antisocial behaviour. But not all poo joggers are malicious. US research shows that between 37 and 71 per cent of endurance runners experience abdominal cramps, the urge to go or a loss of control over their bowels either during or immediately after exercise. It can happen early in the morning, maybe after coffee. It can also happen because of the way your colon is moving around and how much food you have in your stomach. It also can happen because of anxiety and how you're feeling before an event. Sonda Novak Booth suffers from runner's trots and for some reason she agreed to speak to us about it. It happens to me about once a fortnight. The last time it happened was on Tuesday so I had to sort of squat behind my two big dogs using them as a screen and um, luckily I had a doggy bag. But she hasn't always been successful in covering her tracks. Once I thought that I'd found a perfect position that was all bushy and secluded, what I didn't realise is that behind me I was completely exposed and uh, wouldn't you know it, a guy and his dog walked past and they both started laughing at me. There are measures that honest, law-abiding joggers can take to avoid Sonder's fate. It does just happen to some people. Paula Radcliffe famously does. I try to stay hydrated and make sure I haven't had a meal too close to a run. And that's important advice for any potential joggers out there. Regretfully, for the project, I'm Tash Belling. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Beautifully done, Tash. Beautifully done. Wow. Hey, you Amazing. got to the bottom of that. Wow, well done. Amazing yarn, but I'm going to go out on a limb here. Yeah. They're not marathon runners. Is no, there any yeah, excuse? I don't know. Should we ask? Mm. With, there's some Americans here. This started in America. Excuse me, ladies. Have they confirmed that they actually you, uh, did this? Are you Americans? Where are the Americans? Yeah. I, if, now, ladies, if we could just cross to you. I mean, jogging trots, has it happened to you? Have you ever felt the need to hide behind your dog and do a quick poo somewhere when you just... <laughs> No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks, ladies. <laughs> Is this Dr. Phil? I just wanted to check because we had real live Americans in the crowd. You, I've, been, I've been dealing with poo jogging for a while now. Have you? Well, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a two year old son, so there we go. Oh, wow. We've all been there, all right. We're going to take a quick break. Back in a moment. If anyone steps on it. So this guy comes close. Oh, the close call. Oh, man. Oh, I had diarrhoea and I had to decide whether to poo in the truck. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll poo with the lions. And we all have a new what, fear. What the <laughs> Forget the other one. We all what, have a new fear. What did you choose? Car or lion safari? Uh, well, uh, lion safari. I poo behind the tree. Now, this one is really old. I'm going to stick my neck out and say it's 17th century. They're very, very collectible. A piece like this would make at least 12 to 15,000 pounds.